Okay, so it is show the time, so I guess I'll be back in one hour and one minute. Hey guys, uh, so today is the 24th of January and today I'm gonna go to a Reiki. A Reiki is like an energy healer. I like to see them more of like a spiritual and energy balancer. It's like giving your uh, spiritual body a massage and help uh, keeping all the energy level in harmony. Uh, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do today. I'm gonna take a ferry. That's cool. I, I love when my uh, uh, trip includes a ferry, so I'm really glad about it. I'm gonna take like a 30 minute ferry. It's because our place is in the suburb of Bangkok. It's all the way in the other side of uh, Bangkok. And from there I'm gonna take a bus. So it's like two hours. Uh, yeah, it's a two hour trip. But again, uh, I feel it's gonna be a nice trip, so I'll see you there. So I left my laundry here to dry. There is great sun, so I think it's gonna be dry in like two hours or so. Maybe even faster with this bright sun. Anyway, it's uh, almost 3 p.m. right now, so it's time for me to go. Since I didn't add breakfast so far, I'm gonna take this uh, red bean filled bun. Let's try it. Itadakimasu! Here is the ferry for today. Long tail boat. It's called the Oriental Ferry Boat. It was pretty noisy in the street, so I'm doing a voiceover. Uh, what happened there is basically I went to take bus 203, but the officer at the station insists that it's not the bus I should take, and while he made me wait, I missed two buses. Uh, I decided to not wait and go to the next station, and I did took 203, and lo and behold, it took me straight where I need to go. So I understand he was trying to help, but sometimes you should just go with your instinct. And it was really hard to communicate with him because his English level was quite low and he didn't completely understand me. Plus I kinda count on the Google map that told me exactly what path to take. And this weird bald noise. I'm thinking it's a bald. I never actually saw the animal making this noise. Dude. 
back at me as I enter, but now it's very spoiled. Right? You're not so tough. Right? Not I would sit on you. <laughs> it's actually very calm. <laughs> now you want more. Oh, that's it. When you start, you can first stop. I don't have dog treats. Oh, you cute. So small. Then I can reach here. And you're so small. <laughs> I can't believe we entered the other house. And I accidentally freak out the girl living there. I'm so sorry. She also has crystals. She has this one. Like one that I don't have yet. It's on my next one I want to get. It's called Lepize. And yeah, this one I already have. Citrine. Uh, rose crawls. Uh, fluoride. So yeah, I want to get Lepize. Just as a disclaimer, uh, I don't see tarot cards as a way to uh, foresee in the future or like a prophecy because the future is never set. That's the only thing that's certain, that everything is open for change. But I see it more as like a way to give yourself guidance and uh, it's like a campus that helps you navigate. So the cards basically uh, guide you to what uh, option might uh, benefit you best depending on this moment at time because uh, as I said everything changed and the reading is only depending on your uh, frequency level and state of mind at this moment uh, so to take that in mind but again it's a cool way to tarot or any other way of communication it's a cool way to communicate with your uh, People call it higher self, I call it your top frequency level. So since they cannot give you a call or send you an email, it's a different way of communicating with your uh, energy being. I'll go with this one. Okay. Reconsider. Ha ha! Gosh! <laughs> <laughs> No joke, okay. <laughs> Reconsider. Okay. You know, sometimes they don't want to reveal everything because there are things that you need to go over okay. there and, and see it, you know. Another fully vegan restaurant is called Ethios, I think. Yeah, it's gonna take me two hours uh, drive by bus. So I'm gonna reach the probably only at 9 30 pm. So I'll see you there. I went off the bus, now I can decrease. It's so cold there. Yeah, okay, I need to take. I left you and it's five minutes for the rest of the month. What a cool stall. Look at those crazy socks. So they have an apple floor. What a cute mug. If I could only carry it with me, but it probably won't last in my suitcase. <laughs> Look at those Buddhists. Oh, it's a little gay shaving. Look at 
those cute pillows. Okay, and back to the restaurant. You almost miss it because the inn is completely erased. You can barely see it. So I think it's right here at the entrance. Cinnamon and raisin coconut shake. I was debating between this one and the papaya coconut shake because I love papaya. And for main dish, I decided to take the Tampa burger. So I just got my Tampa burger. So that's the burger. Uh, let's dig in. Itadakimas. This is my dream. The I took the chocolate and raisin drink. Spinach. The burger was nice. It's kind of like a fish taste sweet with a peanut butter, so real mix. Not the best burger I ever had. Now I want to try one of the desserts. So, go for the most famous one, apple crumble cell with coconut cream. Okay, so I just got my dessert, the apple crumble and coconut cream, and it's still hot, so I'm gonna let it cool for a bit. Okay, so this is viewed. I don't know what I was, what I was thinking. Uh, I probably won't be able to finish it. So I'm thinking just to take it to go. Uh, I did manage to dig all the way inside to the uh, a cake. It's quite dry, I guess. It's not the best food I ever ate. I gave this all... Uh, like six. I think the food wasn't the best thing and food I ever tasted. Let's go, it kinda look like people having picnic on the street floor. So I need to catch bus 15 and from there it's two hours drive back to my guest house and right now it's 10 pm. Like one minute away from my desktop. I'm almost 